parents trying to feed their babies are looking for any solution to this baby formula shortage. Pediatricians suggest another mother's breast milk. Maine has just two donor breast milk dispensaries, places where parents can go purchase breast milk that has been professionally screened and tested. So both of those are through Mother's Milk Bank Northeast. One of them is in Portland, the other is in Lewiston. And these donor breast milk banks can act as a bridge for parents who can't find formula right now. And look at those cheeks. You'll do anything for your infant. You'll do anything for your child. Being a new parent is hard enough. Struggling to feed your new child is an added layer of pressure. It's really stressful. It's very stressful. So these are the ones that were kind of like the freebies. That's why Ali Melsack is now giving away her baby formula. Her baby boy, Rafa no longer needs it. They relied on formula when Allie was having a tough time breastfeeding him. We can just remember what that feeling was like, and so it just seems silly to have it sitting in our pantry unused when we knew that there were families who really needed it. So she donated to the same doctor who helped her through that difficult time, Dr. Allie Kopelman. She's a pediatrician. She also runs one of Maine's two donor breast milk dispensaries. Hospitals have donor milk, but can only give it to patients. But I now have people calling me from the hospital. They're not even waiting until they've come home to make that contact to say, hey, I think I'm going to need it in a few days. Will you have it? Why, why do you keep the milk locked up? Because it's a precious commodity. Those parents who struggle to breastfeed are worried that others who can't find formula are going to take what little supply of donor breast milk Maine has. It's all a cycle of this formula shortage. There are only four producers of formula in the U.S., so if you shut down one or part of a major one, then those people who do not breastfeed are really left in a very tenuous position. I'm very aware <laughs> about what it, what it can mean for a family. We had a freezer full of donor milk for weeks and weeks, and so um, we were reliant on somebody else's contribution, and so we wanted to kind of give back a little bit of what we could. Now, there are some important things to know about using donor breast milk. Private insurance does not cover it. It usually costs about $4 an ounce. Now, that cost is because of what it takes to test and pasteurize the milk. Now, most of these dispensaries have a 10 bottle per child per week limit. That means one kid, one week, 10 bottles. Each bottle is about 3.4 ounces. So essentially, what that math works out to is about $140 to $150 a week for bottles of donor milk for one child. Also, you need a prescription, but doctors at Maine's two dispensaries have told me that they'll often help parents out with that. Now, if you're looking for formula, pediatricians recommend looking at the local Facebook groups that have popped up to connect parents with the formula in their communities.